Chris Jericho and other key top names unwilling to work with CM Punk and AEW, and Sasha Banks reportedly still under contract with WWE, and more news. We had tons of news coming out of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, so we're going to go ahead and kick things off with the latest surrounding AEW, The Elite, CM Punk, and that whole entire controversy. According to Dave Meltzer, several top stars in AEW stated that they are not willing to work with CM Punk. Meltzer reported that the feeling backstage is that CM Punk will not be back with the company. He wrote, a few names were mentioned, with Chris Jericho being the name mentioned most. But that many, if not most, of the key top names were saying that they wouldn't work with him. Also writing, another top star in AEW said, Punk won't be back. His value on screen isn't 1% worth the hassle and black cloud he causes backstage. Fightful Select also reported that Chris Jericho confronted CM Punk following the AEW All Out media scrum and altercation that occurred with the Elite. Reportedly telling CM Punk he was a cancer to the locker room and a detriment to the company. Meltzer reported recently that AEW is in negotiations with CM Punk over a buyout of his contract with a holdup being the length of a non-compete clause. On Wednesday, Wrestling Inc.'s Nick Houseman reported that those from CM Punk's camp said Punk's dog Larry was injured during the backstage altercation. Larry was said to have been hit in the face by the locker room door when it was kicked in by the Young Bucks. At a veterinarian appointment a few days later, Larry had to have two teeth removed. However, this story is being denied by the Elite's camp. Here's what was written in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. A completely made up story, said one person regarding the story. He's losing in the investigation results and is desperate. There was a multiple weeks long investigation and this was oddly not discovered. Also, it so happened to be mentioned the moment there was news about the Bucks and Omega possibly coming back. It's insane that people would even humor this. The dog story is a complete lie, said a neutral party who was in the locker room seconds after the incident occurred. When the altercation was happening, Punk was a total psycho. Kenny picked up the dog to save him from being hurt and gave him to Mega. Mega was holding the dog, screaming at Punk to stop. Punk didn't even register that his baby was being held by a stranger in the middle of a fight. It didn't stop him one bit. Well, what are your thoughts on this crazy story that has unfolded? Let us know in the comment section below. On top of that, we got more news bits in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, so let's get right to them. Sasha Banks is still under contract to WWE. Meltzer wrote, quote, she is still under contract to WWE, but there is no word on when she'll return as there were said to be hangups in negotiations for a new deal. Recently, Sasha Banks was seen out this week for Black Panther's Wakanda Forever premiere in Los Angeles, along with Naomi plus The New Day and Jimmy Uso. They all walked the purple carpet at the Marvel Studios premiere. Meltzer is also reporting that Bray Wyatt has surpassed the bloodline as the biggest merchandise seller in WWE. He also noted the success of the QR code White Rabbit videos will lead to similar teases in the future. Meltzer noted that such tactics will be used more often as a facet of storylines and mystery. There has also been talk of a potential program involving Roman Reigns and Wyatt in the future, considering how hot Wyatt is at the moment. And speaking of the bloodline, they attacked Sheamus injuring his arm and seemingly writing him off of television for a while. This was likely done as a way to explain Sheamus' absence from television as he takes time off to get married. His fiance has been posting to Instagram about the upcoming wedding. And according to PW Insider, Chelsea Green is officially done with Impact Wrestling. She filmed an exit vignette at the last set of tapings and many are under the impression she is headed back to WWE. Chelsea Green signed with WWE in 2018 and wrestled a couple of matches on the main roster in late 2019 and early 2020. She had broken her wrist during a match on the November 13, 2020 edition of SmackDown and was eventually released on April 15, 2021. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. If you would like to chat more pro wrestling with me, feel free to give me a follow on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. If not, I'll catch you here on F4W online Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on Speak Now Pro Wrestling where I cover NXT 
AEW, SmackDown, and Rampage. See you guys later. Bye, everyone.